Hey, 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 hey. What you doing here? Don't you have practice? Not anymore. I quit. Oh. Well, since when are you the quitting kind? I don't know. I just don't see the point anymore. So you didn't make the dress list. There are greater tragedies in the world. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad. To prove to everyone prove that I worked... what? That I was somebody. Oh, you are so full of crap. You're five feet nothing. A hundred and nothing. And you got hardly a speck of athletic ability. And you hung in with the best college football team in the land for two years. And you're also going to walk out of here with a degree from the University of Notre Dame. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't gonna never happen. We have some things to talk about. What is going on guys? So it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day out and uh, you know what, I'm going to put the glasses on. Um, so there's been a lot of comments, questions uh, about that dino video that I that I posted up. And if you notice, I didn't lay an opinion out there. I didn't even want to talk on that video. And the reason why was because I was just, my mind was blown, okay? I was in shock. Um, so to answer a few questions, a lot of people had questions about the actual dyno itself. The dyno was right. Um, I jumped on one dyno, it read uh, one thing, I couldn't believe it, so I went ahead and rented a, 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 a dyno the, almost the following day, and it pretty much verified what I got on the first dyno. Uh, so the dyno readings are, in fact, accurate. Um, my tune, okay? This was a, another big thing. A lot of people were saying you should, you should get it tuned. And to be perfectly blunt, it was dyno tuned, okay? Um, I got everything installed okay and um you know i jumped on the dyno and you know well, this was my fault i didn't do any data logging uh, i didn't have a wide band or anything like that so there was no revisions to the first tune 100 percent accurate um but i got a dyno tune and i thought that the dyno tune would extract as much of the horsepower and the torque as possible and um even after the dyno tune i was just blown away i just i had no words to to really really say uh just after you know doing the zero to 60s after doing the eighth miles and everything and looking at the times and everything i just really just thought that it, the car felt like it was well over that 400 wheel horsepower um so you know my gauge is wrong um but you know what guys i am not here to poo poo on anything that i've done uh i am just i am telling you this uh, point blank. I will, I don't hide anything. Okay. I, I review products when some things are not what they are. I have to tell you guys. Okay. Um, you're all following along and I have to make it known that when I'm having issues, you guys know about it because if you go ahead and you purchase something, at least you have a heads up on what to expect. Um, I don't ever tell anybody to buy stuff that I that I have. I don't ever try to convince you guys to buy anything that I have. Um, my 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 job, my goal with this channel is to continue, you know, modding the car and providing the good with the bad. And you know, uh, you know, you got to rip that ego out. Um, you know, a lot of other YouTubers don't are, are not as tr transparent. Okay, uh, they will buy a product and, and they'll tell you the good. You know, they'll give you the, what's in the box crap and they'll, they'll do that other stuff. But in regards to the negative, I mean, it's tough making a video like that. You don't want to hurt feelings. You don't want to piss people off. But you know what, guys? That's part of reviewing stuff. You know, you, you have to be honest. And um, 
that's that's what I plan on doing. So, what is next for the Charger? Um, you know, I think the the thing is, is you know, a lot, a lot of people they're asking me about, you know, do I plan on on continuing to mod the car? And uh, the answer to that is 100% yes. I will continue modding the Charger um, just because I got a couple of bad dyno, you know, results. It's not gonna it's not gonna take me out of the game. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna keep modding. Uh, I think that there is, I think a lot of you guys in the comment section pretty much hit the nail on the head. I think it, I think I outgrew my exhaust setup. Um, when I first started this channel, I was set out for a zero to 60 in, you know, mid fours, high fours, very ambitious, right? So I went ahead and got shorty headers, Flowmaster 40s, an intake, um, tune, and some tires. And it, it got me there, okay? Uh, but somewhere along the line, you know, the quest for more horsepower, more content, um, you know, kind of got the best of me. And I, I just wanted to see how far I would take the RT. And uh, through the modding process, I think I outgrew that exhaust, you know? So I think, I think the two and a quarter, what is it? The two and a quarter piping that comes stock on the, the charger is restricting the heck out of uh, the exhaust flow. I think the shorty headers are not enough and the flow masters are, are they sound beautiful. I love the flow masters. But um, I think they're, they're really bogging down the horsepower. Um, so I am going to try and start saving up for a new exhaust. I'm gonna try and figure out a game plan to get it, these uh, long tube headers on there with a full maybe three inch piping or you know two and three quarter piping and see where that brings me. Um, I don't wanna get down on, on this RT. I love what I'm doing. Uh, the progression has been unbelievable. I mean, you look at the starting point, you know, take the horsepower and, and torque numbers and throw them out the window because at the end of the day, that's not what is, what, what is winning races, okay? Um, so if you look at the progression, I mean, zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds all the way to 4.3 okay and i think i could even improve upon that um in the summer and you know eighth mile what was it 8.7 seconds bone stock and then now i'm at 8.3 uh, you know you're talking those are some healthy improvements right there um so you know i'm not gonna get too hard on myself i i do feel like um, you know, a lot of money has been spent and, um, you know, the learning curve is, is, is definitely there, but I'm going to keep going guys. You know, uh, this channel is, I love this channel and I love my car. Uh, and you know, I don't blame my car for some of the decisions that I've made. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see if we could get this, we're going to break this thing open. You know, we're going to see if, uh, we could get big blue, uh, rocking and rolling. And, you know, that's really where I stand at this particular moment. Uh, I don't see any major changes or anything like that. And, you know, after the headers, after the exhaust, if I'm not getting the, the numbers that I want, the times that I want, uh, I think it will be time to uh, get some forced air.